Hey, welcome to this episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Halloween's coming up. Figured I'd do a Halloween-themed beer, or at least a sort of Halloween-themed beer. From Allagash out of Maine, Haunted House, Hoppy Dark Ale, 6.6 ABV, and it's pretty fresh. Actually, it's not. It was canned three months ago, July 15th. So anyway, pour it into the Spiegel Stout Glass. That is a brown coming out of the can. It's very clear. Um, once it's in the glass, it does look black, but I assure you it's kind of like a blood red brown. You can actually see a little bit of the, well, maybe not on the camera, but, um, it gets a big kind of, I don't know, like khaki froth. That is classic black IPA foam. It's weird. Cause like you have like this dark beer, but then like the head is actually kind of lighter. I mean, I wouldn't go as far as say white, but yeah, this, um, off the nose, this does smell like a kind of robust porter or a standard stout, because I get a lot of roastiness on this one. You know, I saw, I've read a lot of reviews online. People were saying it's basically like a kind of a black IPA, and if that was true, I'd probably get a lot more hops than those, but I really don't. I mean, it's nice because, like, to me, it's this lovely roasted, just straight up, like, roasty malt or kind of like a black coffee aroma. Uh, there's definitely some piney hops in there, I will say. I mean, Cascade... Yeah, Cascade and Nugget. Yeah, those are very... I'm pretty sure these are all piney hops, so... It's been a while since I had one of these. Let's see what we're in for here. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah. I think I, I think I would probably would, just off that first sip, I think I probably would call this a black IPA. And I think the reason they're calling this Hoppy Dark Ale is because they kind of want, maybe they probably want to separate themselves from the black IPA because like those aren't fashionable styles anymore or that isn't a fashionable style anymore. By the way, I'm wearing my uh, Beetlejuice shirt, you know, this purple shirt to match the purple can. I don't know, purple became the color of Halloween. Usually it's orange and black. Gorgeous lacing on the glass. By the way, I'm halfway through the beer. I haven't really talked about it yet. All right, so as far as flavor on this one, um, yeah, this kind of reminds Reminds me of the black IPAs from the days of yore. Um, definitely hoppy up front. Um, I'd call it piney, not resiny. Little bit of orange citrus. Yeah, so, I mean, it's that classic, you know, pine and orange. And then, uh, like, immediately there's kind of like a dry bitterness, like a black coffee kind of flavor or bitterness. And then that roasty malt comes in, and, like, that's – it's, like, really nice. So it's just, like, this lovely – just quick burst of roasty malt, but it's not like acrid or like astringent or anything like that. It's not burnt. Uh. Mm. Yeah, and then on the finish, the the pop, the hops turn from piney to like a little bit resiny. So it's like a tiny little bit of like a stickiness to it. Aftertaste is kind of like a it's kind of like a black coffee aftertaste or. Um, yeah, I'd probably say, yeah, it's just like straight up like black coffee aftertaste, but not like to the extent of bitterness. By the way, I, I try to look up on their website. Um, let me bring this up real quick. So they actually tell you the malts and hops in here. So two row victory carapils, raw wheat, roasted barley, black prunes. I'm not sure what that is. Um, but they don't say the IBUs on here. I If I had a guess, I'd probably say it's probably about 40. 30 to 40, maybe 45 tops. So this has like the mouthfeel of a black IPA or actually kind of a lighter a lighter beer in general. 6.6, um, .6, you know, it's not super strong. I probably put this like medium, medium body. I might even go as far as to say medium light, but or something like just under medium as far as like the dexterity or dextriness. Um, carbonation, probably about moderate, but the texture is like really smooth. I don't know if I go as far as say creamy, but yeah, it's really smooth. It's really easy to drink. It's actually a little refreshing while it's in the mouth. You see, I'm just like sucking this right down. Yeah. So I don't know. This kind of walks a fine line between just a really hoppy porter and a black IPA. It could go either way. Um, I probably would probably put it under a robust porter. So yeah, it's just like a nice, um, if you want a nice change of pace, something that you haven't had in a long time, this one would be a good one to check out. They don't exactly reinvent the wheel on this one. But yeah, it's a nice, you know, fall seasonal, so I'll take it. So I'm going to go, I'm thinking seven and a half, maybe eight. 
for the Haunted House Hoppy Dark Ale. I think that the body's a little lacking. A little bit more body would be nice. And just kind of like a more commitment to like, you know, either make it like a, a legit robust porter or like black IPA. You know, I think it just needs like, I think it actually needs a little bit more hops, but what do I know? All right, I'm rambling. If you watch all the way in, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys for Tuesday Night Beer School someday. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better. Ooh.